Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here and today I'm going to be building this computer in 20 minutes or less. Now I'm going to use the length of this recording as my timer so I'm going to get right into it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is build or set up the motherboard. Hopefully I got a good angle here yet. So let's, excuse me if I uh, seem a bit rushed. I want to see if I can actually do this and you're probably wondering why the F Am I building a computer so quickly? Well, I kind of want to just emphasize how easy it is to build a computer. And so, it doesn't take a whole lot to it. Let's see, CPU. By the way, I'm wearing a uh, anti-static wrist strap here. It's been windy and dry lately. I'm not really too worried about and uh, static never really had a problem with static before but many out there say that I should be wearing anti-static or be worried about static electricity discharge now I'm opening the uh, CPU here and this is a very delicate operation because gosh I don't know why they packaged it like this probably see what's going on here but uh, this is an AMD quad core system that a friend of mine picked up this isn't even my computer and before you say anything yes they know that I'm building this system in less than 15 minutes or less than 20 minutes so I'm gonna take off the uh, this foam here you gotta make sure that there's nothing in there. Right, gonna lift up CPU. And gotta line up the arrows. Let's drop that in, goes in real easily. Easy breezy, beautiful. Now time for the CPU fan. And uh, this is a bare bone system that a friend of mine picked up from Tiger Direct, I believe it was. Really cheap, I think it was like, I don't know, 150 bucks. After rebates, it didn't come with a hard drive or a DVD drive, so my friend had to supply that for me. This right here. to do this straight from all brand new stuff unboxing everything again just to emphasize how easy everything is I know I'm making a mess I really don't do this sort of thing often just a little challenge for myself again I don't recommend anybody doing this because you could damage your parts but I'm willing to take the risk if something doesn't work or it breaks I'm willing to pay for the damaged pieces and I've got this monitor sitting right here to make sure everything works probably gonna also install the software for them for this particular build oh gosh come on I shouldn't have had all this caffeine earlier. Oh, I got the shakes. All right, I wonder how long it's been already. Probably about seven or eight minutes. I'm guessing, cool. So the motherboard, finito. Now time for the in the case oh how's that angle set this 
side. Okay, motherboard stuff here. Oh, I should probably get a little bit more light there. So this is a micro ATX. Got to put the standoffs in. It's very important that you put the standoffs in if you plug in the motherboard or screw down the motherboard without these standoffs. You will short out your motherboard because the bottom of the motherboard, the back of the motherboard, will be touching this whole case here. And once you tr turn on the power, it will short everything out. That should be it. There, let me just line this up to make sure. Yes. IO shield. And, oops. Yeah. You gotta be careful with these cheap cases too. They got sharp Sharp aluminum edges can cut you. Let's see, should I put the power cord? I'm not going to be able to. Cable management might be a little ugly. Oh, great. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I gotta punch out these little metal tabs for the audio ports. Luckily the power supply is inside already. Alright. And you have to use the correct motherboard screws. Otherwise, your motherboard won't be grounded. Typically for standoffs, they are the fine threaded screws. Apologize, I can't show you exactly. But uh, I do have other videos that are much more better guide for building a computer sorry for sounding so robotic right now oh she wrote okay sounds good now we gotta plug in the let's go ahead and do the hard drives slide this in toolless super convenient Done. And the DVD drive. Gotta break off a little. This little metal piece. Again, be very careful. You could cut yourself. Take your time. 
Be gentle, be slow. gonna have to suck a little bit. I tried. But essentially you want to have your cables tucked away nice and neat so that it doesn't constrict airflow. I think I got a piece of metal in my hand. Let's see, this is USB, USB, all of these things are keyed. I'm not even looking at any labels or anything like that because uh, there's they're just set in a way that you just can't plug it in wrong. I mean, you can plug it in wrong and you could break something if you plug it in wrong, but really you just got to look at how things are laid out they purposely make things slotted in such a way that only one thing can fit in it I'm not reading any manuals any guides or anything like that not that you don't have to I do recommend that you do is atrocious I apologize kind of under the clock here for the most difficult part that is the front panel connectors luckily this motherboard is labeled some motherboards don't have what you plug into what okay let's start with the power switch oh great I don't know which way is running what And it is important that you line up the polarities correctly. Oh great, one of these pins are already bent. I did not bend it.
Man, I might have to look at the manual if this doesn't work. I'm just gonna try it. Whatever happens, happens. If it works, it works. If not, if it doesn't boot up. Uh, I gotta plug in, or I gotta look up the manual. So here we go. Let's get all this out of the way. I don't know what my time is. Hopefully it hasn't been more than 20 minutes. It's really actually shooting for Okay. Oh no. I don't have the right cable. Sorry folks, just cutting into the build time. Oh, great. Uh, not the right cable. RTFM, man. RTFM. Where is it? Ah. Front panel. Opposite of the missing pin. Opposite of the missing pin. Oh. They called it on off. So that last step, like I said, the most difficult part of the build, which isn't really that difficult. I'm just exaggerating a little bit. Okay, let's take a look here. Hopefully you can see that. Hey, and there we go. Boots up. Should see something on the screen here. There you go. There you go. Huh? Not bad. It works. Fan is spinning. I made a mess. So hopefully that was it. Uh, hopefully I made that in less than 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.